up guys, it's Joe again. As you can probably tell by the title, it's time for another hair product video. Now what's cool is that Hans de Foucault was kind enough to send me their entire product line. So big shout out to Hans de Foucault, thank you very much. Before diving right in, I just want to say that uh, I have an update for you at the end of this video about stuff that I'm going to be doing with Hans de Foucault over in San Francisco. Everything is rhyming. So just make sure that you watch all the way through so you'll learn more about that. Just to clarify, I'm making this video to kind of show all the different products in the Hans de Foucault range. I'm not going to be using them in my hair, but I'll be explaining each one of them. And then uh, I'll have individual reviews for later videos at a different time. So in this video, it's all about what the products do and what they're for. Let's go. So we can go ahead and start with Hans de Foucault's most popular product, which is right here. And that's sponge wax. Delicious. The great thing about sponge wax, and probably why it's the most popular item, is because it's probably the simplest to use. To kind of give an idea, sponge wax is like the most basic of men's hair products in terms of uh, it has a high hold and a matte finish, which is what many guys are looking for in a hair product. What I personally like about this product is that even though it gives a matte finish, it's not like a dry look. It's uh, it still it holds and it retains kind of moisture in your hair, so your hair still looks alive, but definitely you still got that matte mat going on. So let's move on to our next product, shall we? Okay. Modify pomade is the product you want if you're going for that slick back look with the, you know, the pompadour, kind of the olden days greaser looks, I would say. Also, Modify pomade has got a great smell. I don't know what it is. It's probably my favorite smelling Hans de Foucault product. It's way up there. It's really good. Though you should know that smells never influence me personally on uh, if I like a product or not. It's I solely base a product based on uh, how well it works in my hair, not by its smell. That being said, Modified Pomade smells great. <coughs> With this stuff you can kind of do two different things. If you use it on completely dry hair, uh, of course depending on, on your hair type, you can get more of a PC wet look, so you don't have to go for that slick back if you don't want. Uh, and then the slick back works best if your hair is a little bit damp at first and then you apply the product through and comb it. Whatever you want to do. Moving on to the next product, we've got Skin Cream. Now Skin Cream, I really like. I think that Skin Cream would be best for people with longer hair who, who can naturally kind of put their hair back uh, without it falling in their face. Because of course if you got longer hair then you got more weight that you can push back. Because Skin Cream, what Skin Cream does, it's very uh, light and very natural looking in your hair and it provides a little bit of shine. Uh, it says medium shine and um, what's great about it also is that it's it's like a leave-in conditioner so it's super healthy all Hans de Foucault products are healthy but uh, skin cream is specially designed to also be like a conditioner in your hair so you style your hair you condition your hair all in one go and it's just great stuff you can also do two different things with this stuff if you put it in dry hair uh, it's going to kind of give more of a hold and more you can kind of shape it a bit more it's still going to look very natural and uh, kind of all flowing together, but you can shape it a bit more. And if you put it in um, wet hair, then it's gonna dry and have a very kind of moist look. Moving on. All right, our next product is Quicksand. I'll get into more detail about this uh, when I actually put a full review of this product, but I gotta say that this is the most unique feeling product that I've ever felt in my hair. It's just, it's, it was just so different. I personally think that this product would be better for people with thinner hair. And what you're kind of going to get out of this product is a very beachy feel. It's it's a very, um, it's a dry, so opposite to, to the sponge wax, which is kind of a moist matte finish, this gives a very dry matte finish. So um, you're going to have that, that very beachy kind of all over the place. Quicksand's great stuff, and that's the stuff that, uh, that soccer player, that's a, why can't I? What's his name? Everyone knows his name. Everyone. David Beckham. David Beckham is a big fan of this stuff. So if you like the, the way he styles his hair, you want to kind of do the same. If you have similar hair to his, uh, that's the product for you. Moving right along. Next up we got Claymation. I've already done a full review of Claymation, so if you're interested, you can go see that. I'll link it in the description below. I feel the best way to kind of explain Claymation is to compare it uh, to sponge wax because both of them say high hold and matte finish, so you may be wondering, well, what's the difference? Uh, so sponge wax, though it's high hold, it's I would say it's definitely it's, it's more movable, more kind of moldable throughout the day. It's kind of easy to switch up the style that you're going for. I also feel like since it's lighter than claymation, you can get uh, a bit more volume out of sponge wax. When I think of claymation, I think of really dense, kind of really strong hold. Uh, it's going to keep your hair in place. It's not going to be that 
easy to change. Like if you're out in the wind, you're, the wind's not gonna blow it into a new into a new style. But at the same time, it's definitely still fixable. So you can you can kind of reshape it throughout the day if you want. Uh, so when I think of claymation, I think of strong hold and hair that stays in place. And finally, our last Hans de Foucault styling product is hybridized wax. I find hybridized wax to be unique in that it's kind of the perfect product to combine with any other Hans de Foucault product uh, if you want to kind of get like a shine to your hair. So far I've experimented by combining it with sponge wax. So sponge wax gives the hold and then hybridized wax kind of gives the shine to finish it off. And I really like, uh, like that combination right there. So I haven't tried hybridized wax yet by itself. I feel like the hold wouldn't be quite what I'm looking for. But it's the perfect kind of finishing coat that's going to add shine and kind of life to your hair. Okay, to finish up this video, I've got here the Hans de Foucault shampoo and the Hans de Foucault conditioner. Now, at the end of the day, shampoo and conditioner is designed to clean your hair. I don't think there's too much to say about it. However, there are two things that I do like about um, the Hans de Foucault shampoo and conditioners. First of all, as most of you probably know, Hans de Foucault is all about the healthy and the organic ingredients uh, that they use in all of their products. So I really like that the, that the shampoo and conditioner are both just chock full of, of healthy things. Both bottles tell you all the healthy things down the side. There's like white tea, seaweed, lemon, apple, so many delicious things. And the second thing, basically whoever came up with the smells of these two products right here did a great job of kind of staying clear of the stereotypical manly musky smell. Um, you still definitely get a masculine smell out of these two products, but it's not your typical musk. There's a lot more, there's definitely mint. I get mint out of it and it's delicious great smelling stuff that I, I really like. So I told you there's an update. I'm gonna be with Hans de Foucault in early December and I don't know really if I'm allowed to say what's happening so I'm not gonna say it for now but uh, you should be expecting more stuff kind of mid-December that kind of time. It's uh, I'm pretty excited there's some cool things happening. Like always thank you for watching. Uh, I'd appreciate some feedback. I'm always trying to learn how I can kind of make my videos better and more entertaining. If you did like this video you could go ahead and subscribe because I got more stuff coming. Until next time.